So, hello everyone, of course, time for Subway Good Biscuits, this is the Monday highlight, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the weird, etchy, bad, I was like, it's going to cannibals! That was so obvious, I was like, oh my god, they're clearly cannibals, they're clearly goddamn cannibals. See? I always say this, but I would be the last person to die in a zombie apocalypse, right? Or whatever dystopian. I, I would be, I would always be cynical and mistrusting everyone. I'll be, are you clear cannibal? Yeah, I would, I would never trust any old men or old lady with poison tea, you know. I would never fall for this crap, right? But, uh, yeah, they were cannibals and also maybe important later. They, they, they didn't die, I think. They blew up the, the experiment and they also had like a zombie, right? Like a mushroom zombie guy, so... Those old people, or whatever they were doing, is probably important later, right? Like, create some kind of zombies, it has to be part of the general storyline, which you found there. And then, of course, we had, uh, I don't know, yet another woman falling in love with Panda. He's like the babe man. He's like, oh, Panda Girl! <laughs> Every guy that people can is like, oh, Panda! Please make me a woman tonight! Like, whatever, he had this, like, young little girl, like, oh! And he's like, you will probably find the source one day that you can fall in love with. No, Panda! Leave, don't leave me! It's like, well! Was every woman in him? Anyway, I saw the um, pre-left video. So Miss Little Capitalist Swine is coming back. She's obviously in love with Panda. So I want to see that. So let's open it. So three, two, one, and go. Opening right Yeah. So I think he's gonna come back and try to seduce some Panda, right? To get some Panda PP. Yeah, probably. And I, I, I was already death Panda. I don't know that pandas have a very, very tiny male member. Yeah. I'm not joking, guys. Check it out. No, but seriously, right? So, I remember I read Death Panda, which is this manga from uh, the grandfather of Google, right? Usagama Vaito. Yeah, Death Panda. Re highly recommend Death Panda if you have the stomach for it. But anyway, in Death Panda, the first scene, she's like, ha, pandas are super tiny. So, yeah, apparently pandas have a very, very tiny uh, male compared to their, their size. Like, I mean, I'm not even joking. I think pandas are incredibly tiny. I have to Google it, man. I'll Google this. I will I, I Google it for you guys. Yeah, I think the PP is very, very tiny. Yeah, it's only like three centimeter long. Exactly. A male panda is super tiny. They have super tiny stuff. Yeah, compared to like, for example, human stripes, you know, our size. Like seriously, yeah, pandas are super tiny. <laughs> and I'm glad I commented immediately, I'm part panda. Yeah, it's like, I have to be a panda, so. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so a, pan a grown ass panda, right? Only has a three centimeters, like one inch uh, PP. See, now you know, in Monden here, you're talking about pandas here. No, but seriously, panda has one of the, I think, the smallest. Uh, yeah, one of the worst hentai uh, animals. <laughs> it is very, very tiny. Seriously, yeah, it's like three centimeters, slightly taller than one inch. It's like you know, one inch is like a thumb, right? Yeah, it's like this tall only. And you know, pandas like bigger than humans or pandas. Yeah, like they're incredibly tiny compared to. But I think this panda guy, though, he might be that. Maybe may he's reacting all the Phoebe's right. The, the bottle ladies, yeah, he's so tiny, right? Maybe pandas is very, very inaccurate. Maybe he's like, I can't do all these ladies, right? My sister, you know, the maggot or so on, yeah. That's probably her. They're probably gonna pick up his girlfriend. Clearly his love interest, you know. He's the innocent uh, money guy. She's the capitalistic rabbit girl, right? So, yeah. They're clearly gonna fall in love, right? Because they're like opposite, right? Opposite attracts, you know, yeah. Q <laughs> He's like, ha I used what? Poison steel spider. He's like, ha I used spider poison web arrows. It's freaking Hawkeye, baby. Yeah, Bisco Code Panda. I got him scientist uh, archers. Like, I used the poison webbing that I got from a spider. He's like, what? And here we go, you know. Here we go. Girlfriend. <gasps> it's the sexy girl. I like how she's angry inside the eyes, yeah. Should have used not. Free her? <laughs> she didn't roll them last time, be like, whatever, put them down again. She just put it down nice again. She's obviously in love with Panda, so I mean, you can have the, you need to have the romance going on, right? Oh, now, now probably some body hit. See? 
Should you just let her freeze right? Is that he's again? She did kill his grandpa almost right then. Yeah, she almost killed his grandpa. You know, she's all like about the money. I don't know why they were saving you. I mean, obviously, Panda was a smasher, I guess, eventually, right? It's all about sex, I guess. Um, but all this is a little bit like, why Why would you say this woman after she if she lied and betrayed you last time, right? Like Spider-Man betrayed me, you know? Yeah, why would you seriously say this woman? Unless if you're a nice person. But even if you're a nice guy, I mean, she did betray you last time, right? She's like the last person you probably... Was she shot down? Was like a CDI tank of sort? Actually, why does she have like CD... She used to fly an airplane with a snail, right? What happened to that? Yeah, now she's like flying a helicopter without no snail. The technology is what I understand. So, because it felt like they had to have the snail because otherwise the airplane wouldn't work or something, right? Like that's how the airplane is functional in this future or whatever. But now she's a helicopter that is worth anyway. So, yeah, I, I almost like, yeah, I don't understand how this technology works here. Like why, why can that thing fly without a snail? Two kids, or they're about the same age. Yeah, see, she, she, I mean, her profession is so obvious. She's like, I only do crime because I have to, you know, yeah, it's so obvious. Like, I only work for the evil government because, you know, I need the money to pay for my sick mother or something. It's just, she has the most obvious story I've ever, honestly, right? Like, she's like, good girl deep down, but she's like, you know, a crook and, you know, st taking money off of people, right? Because, obviously, an army, you know. She's like, oh, I have to pay off my sister's debt or something, you know. What? Yeah, that's how I prove you don't, you're gonna burn you woman! Then you know you wanna be alive, or something. Yeah, it's what the pandas, I wanted his, yeah, it's what the pandas love story, come on. We have body warmed, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's all about the money, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pay for the food. She wants to pay for the food, right? See, they're gonna seduce her by kindness. Yeah. She's gonna be like, oh, stop being so kind to me. I'm a crook. I'm a little mean girl, you know. And she's actually a nice girl deep down, right? Honestly, I find her storyline is so obvious. Yeah. Come on. She's like the most. No, she's gonna ride this on the preview. She's gonna take a drive with them, right? Yeah, she was touched panda, right? Yeah, it's warmer this way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's warmer. I'm gonna touch panda. Yeah, everyone wants to go and panda. This is the whole anime. I think half the anime is like everyone wants to sleep with panda. Could. Yeah, the crab is tired of their. Yeah, it's like come on. Yeah, it's the only panda that's. I saw pumpsus in there. Yeah, oh, here we go. I guess some people living out there in there. So I can't speak. What does he speak then? Japanese? No. Yeah, I don't know. It was a crab, I guess. Yeah, I'm about the crab, right? <laughs> yeah, it's my family! You can't say family! I mean, she's not a trader, right? She's not like, I can trade. These guys are idiots! <laughs> I can easily trick them for you! She's like, yeah, let's make some money. These guys are complete morons. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> that girl is so amazing. She's so nice. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel she's tricking us. Yeah, I feel she's lying about us. <laughs> yeah, Biscuit is right there. Yeah, to clearly sold something way more expensive and that's a secret yeah she clearly she clearly made him sell something that was way low and he's like oh my god you got a coat for this thing she probably of course undersold him immensely and got the, got the difference right yeah took something that's worth like say ten dollars and gave them like five dollars like wow it was five dollars like, yeah five dollars yeah and she could take the money between right oh my god she was a crook man okay cdi crap 
It looks extremely CGI when it's alone enough in the screen, it's only the crab. But it's like a basement of sort. Yeah. What is happening now suddenly? No, I mean, they're talking about going to the line right as well, but I guess like a mushroom. Uh, I guess they find like a mushroom. Uh, it's like an old, I guess, subway. Uh, Shinkansen, I guess, a bullet, bullet train station right in like Japan, right? Yeah, probably like an old bullet train station. With this line thing. I guess about Akudama drives. <laughs> they have to go to the bullet train all the time. Yeah. I guess all right, some kind of abandoned train or bullet train, Shikansen place, sort. Hmm, it's not broken. Hmm. So this straight thing works. Likely how to see Lara 6. I have to pitch around the Yen, what? <laughs> yeah, you have to pitch around the Yen for the self driving. Like Yen? Yen is no value anymore, Marvel Yen on me. <laughs> I love it, yeah. Okay, so I guess Yen isn't the shit anymore. They're like, what? 300 Yen? But actually, it's kind of strange. Why would they change currency? Like, if Japan has like a like, nuclear war. Why would money? I mean, certainly money might be different, but it feels like I don't know. If you still have money, still, I mean, they have fallen that far, Japan. This is like Doctor Stone or something. Would have like a new society, right? They have like a, a some society still there. Yeah, I could see definitely the the, you know, the value of yen would be different, but would like would they stop using yen if the countries had fallen completely? But yeah, she's of course like some kind of technician girl. She can fix out this. She can hot wire it. Yeah. This is cultural you know, backstory. It's her mom probably or something. Yeah, like it's probably her parents died there. The kids giving the full story. Hmm. Yeah. That's probably like she probably grew up there, right? Like her parents probably died in that. Shot about. Maybe or something like that. But just leaving the crab outside, though, yeah. Just leaving the crab. They're his family member, man. Just leaving him like outside in the in the snow. Hmm. He wants to save the world now. I feel like. I feel he's selling is too early here, though. He's like, yeah, we we done it. Save my sister. Like, we haven't even got to the shit yet. I feel he's like very. Yeah, I feel he's like overconfident now. It's like, yeah, we did it, guys. We got into the mushroom. It feels like we haven't even got to the mushroom yet, kid. And we haven't got to either. <sighs> Honestly, it feels like a lazy way to just do like a recap of the previous episodes. Yeah, like a. Here's a two minute recap of the first five episodes. Like, we just saw them, right? Like, we're not. It felt, it felt like. I don't know, but it feels like we're at only episode six, and he's like recapping one to five. Not that long, but still, it's like way too early to one to recap that. Here we go with the recap. How he this makes more sense. The flashback of how he's raised him. Yeah, but this fact makes more sense, right? Yeah, like how he how Yabi raised him to fight someone. My only old geese, sir. I guess right, yeah, my only old man, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're ultimate team, bro. 
The bro moment here, yeah. You're the ultimate hunter, I'm the best doctor, you know, gardener, hunter, whatever you call it. Yeah, we combine our powers and we can do anything, yeah. Nice moment there. Yeah, she's like, you stop with your bromance! I'm Q2, you know, yeah, she's like, come on, panda -kun. I wanna talk to you! Yeah, she's like, getting annoyed here, come on, I, I'm also here, you know. Flirt with me, cute girl, eh? The CC has never been with, you know, kind people before, exactly. She's so like, what, you trying to say sister? You're so nice, panda. It's love, yeah. So yeah, Panda is the goddamn stuck to master man. Every girl wants Panda Kun. That's just the whole anime. Every girl wants Panda Kun. He's like, whoa. <laughs> Stupid boys, yeah. I never come to like you. She's being Sundra, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like you or anything, Panda Kun. It's to seduce me. Oh, man. I think I have blood and bird shit. Oh. So different mushroom grow from if so different mushroom grow from every animal so you can grow yeah rusty so you can grow them by on the animals interesting pipe snake okay you find a pipe snake then you can grow the mushroom they eat helicopters yeah the animals have really transformed this creature this thing is helicopters and it rusts on rust I wonder if you going to be a permanent port member. I hope so, right? You're going to need the girl power. If you need a little cute. Yeah, she's a smart, uh, you know, tech girl. She's obviously the brain of the operation, right? She's a street smart girl, yeah. Can I need her, I feel? I would say so, I would say so. She's kind of the smart girl, you know, kind of the tech girl. Uh, Marie name is Milo, not Panda. I know you want the Panda, but... Thank you so much, Sean. I was your real name. Here we go. Yes, yeah, call me Ayali. Yeah, my real name is Secret. Here we go. What's your real name? Pink hair girl. They're gonna laugh. Right? The biscuits gonna laugh definitely. Come on. This is stupid. This is Tyrol. Come on, biscuit. Don't spot me. Not laughing. <laughs> yeah, when you die, I'm gonna my tear on the gravestone. You never die before me, yeah. You lose that shit. Yeah, like, okay. That's good, yeah. I'm gonna write tear on the, gro on the tombstone, girl. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this old train just works. She hot wired it. She couldn't pay the 300 yen, man. It was too expensive. Man, what a... This guy, man, he gets every goddamn girl, man. Enough already. Stop losing every girl, man. Opposite all Tyrol is so in love with him. Dumbledore, I mean, maybe love her, yeah. She already wrote him a note she wanted to sleep with him. She already wrote him a note, like a love letter, yeah. She already gave him a love letter, right? Jesus Christ, man. Is a red... She's gonna get herself. She could easily probably run to the. Or she could like, ah, ha, arigato! Ah, oh, the poor girl. She never had any friends, right? She's like, ah, arigato, yeah. She clearly never had anyone to be friends with. She has a trouble. Yeah, so you find this, like, bloody snake thing, and then you. Oh, shit. What? Actually, yeah, that'd be so weird. What is it? Like a slime monster? Wait, octopus? There's more gun. Oh, the crab is there? I think. Is that the crab was suddenly on the train? How did the crab get down there? Wait, what is it? Oct it's just like slimes. Yeah, why is it like an octopus? It's just like... It's really oily then. You can't even see its body. It's just oil. It's like living oil. What? It looks just like oil, right? Um, living oil much more than... 
Maybe I'll do all the oil, it's like an octopus. I don't know. It's kind of offset. Yeah. But the crab is hardly there. I didn't even see how the crab got down there, how they moved down the crab. It feels like an oversight. This crab is just down there suddenly. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, the crab is like got down there. We didn't see the crab until now suddenly. Yeah, don't don't hail it, but I cover it whole place in it. Yeah, okay, nice. Don't inhale it, man. Yeah, thanks for that one. Oh, now it's octopus though. Cause now suddenly it's like fuckers. What? 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 Was it all about tiny then? I guess so. Is it maba? <laughs> That's like fluke swamp, yeah. Poisonous Swedish mushroom. The Berserk, the Berserk swamp. The one that they're both eats. It's the same uh, white and red. Um, yeah, I don't know. The crab is just there or something. Just, and also, I'm sad about the onion. Just take out the onion. I don't know. The crab is suddenly. Ah, uh, yeah. It feels really weird how the crab just got on the train. How even go down? It didn't see them. We didn't see the crab. We didn't see the crab actually move down with them at all. We didn't see the crab get down there or get on a train or anything. Yeah, now they're throwing the the train ending. Oh my god, this is sort of like a bromance episode. <laughs> so my god, I'm bromance, man. Yeah, like touching each other when they're shooting archers together. Here. Man, is it Yuri or is it Yaoi? I don't know. No, the anime. Uh... Certainly, a lot of. I mean, it's certainly like a bromance anime, right? You have two guys going an adventure together. It's like Robin Hutch or whatever. Oh, and then he pukes out oil. Or what? Did he eat it? It's happening. Why did he like puke out an oil octopus? Now then, they're leaving the winterland and coming to some kind of cute little grand canyon thing. Crying child. Okay, great name. It probably sounds. It probably is like a sound effect, right? Because of the rabbit. Blue shiny mushrooms. Oh. What? A it's a kind of pterodactyl? No, it's like a rook. <laughs> and it's suddenly like a whale snake appears and bigger than the rook. Oh, that is the pipe snake. Okay, so what about his fingers too? What? This anime is so weird. Why is it like. But it was like human fingers on it. What? It's like a flying snake with. But it, look at it. Like, like it's like it has. Nah, it has a finger. It's like a caterpillar, but it's fingers instead of. Man, this anime is so weird. Look at that. Yeah, why is, why is it like a million hands and like legs or something? This anime is so effed up, man. Oh, finally! Oh, no, she's misunderstanding! Finally caused the boobies, she's misunderstanding. Power! Talk to your sister. Man, yeah, talk to your sister, man. The obviously, she's almost gonna fall in love with him. Come on, she's waiting for the smash, right? It's a talk, but he's there, though. I don't think he's being in much trouble, though. It would be one thing if, if she arrived, you know... Okay, bad timing, but still. If she arrived and, and Panda wasn't there, would be one thing. But now she's arriving and Panda, she's telling her, No, sister, he's my best friend! He's my boyfriend! Can you just tell her that she, uh, you know, they were besties? But man, this anime has such a crazy design and some stuff. It's a kind of really horror up animation. This anime concept is like a really weird horror up animation every goddamn time. Uh, so before Super Hot Sister appears, uh, you know, who doesn't want us bang power? But let's go back as I can find when the, the pipe snake. Uh, so it's a lot of eldritch abomination, man. This anime is just filled of eldritch abominations, yeah, constantly. So if you see it fly by and it has like finger hands or something, oh god, it's disgusting. It's back to the whole larva shit thing again, you know. Like, here is a good image of it. Like, why Why is, like, you know, yeah, why, why does the snake has like fingers instead of feet, right? It's like human fingers. On its like snake torso or something. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like you know, and also it's flying. So why would it even develop like legs? <laughs> it, it makes no sense whatsoever. It's like this is the future when everything can kind of fly something. And this snake is that eat on them. It can fly. 
Uh, and then it also has like, you know, human lake or something. So why is a snake, you know, became like some kind of, I don't know, a caterpillar or something. Um, but it also, it's, it's flying. It's like, why would it develop like flying shit? I, I don't know. Like, why why would it develop legs? It's like a flying eel, right? It's more like an eel, I guess. Than, uh, yeah, because mostly it's aquatic animals, right? The bird was big too, though. <laughs> why aren't the humans bigger? For why is only all the animals bigger? But but anyway, yeah, I mean, it's one thing that... And then, very angry sister appears. Very angry sister. Go back to the... Um, try to find a better image. I like how the bird appears and then it eats it immediately. Yeah, this is a bird. Oh, God, that's better. Which one frame? God damn it. Oh, here it is. Like, God damn it. Yeah, it's not a snake. It's like some freaking abomination. So why, why, why does the snake have like a million caterpillar fingers for? Like this is a god I'm watching Aaron man. This is like Aaron no this anime. This is like you thought Aaron was scary. <laughs> Here we go. I don't I don't get it. I mean is the anime is interesting. That's a freaky design, man. They have so much freaky horror abomination hentai shit. Yeah, like like we had an episode right when he kissed her and pulled out the maggot shit into her mouth, right? Yeah, it was bigger than her face. It's like the anime constantly throws in like this like random horror animation shit where you're like oh, this is probably the best one. You also see the legs, right? It has like a million legs to this scene here. It's called like a dragon. No, it's more like some kind of and um, yeah, there's my software. Yeah, whatever. Um software warning, whatever. Uh yeah. It's more like a no but what, is it is it like a dragon? No, it's more like some kind of eldritch horror animation. This anime is goddamn crazy, man. Every goddamn episode is like what? Uh, here comes freaking leg, one million leg finger uh, eel flying shit appears. Holy shit, that is weird. Uh, otherwise, felt like a pretty slow episode, honestly. Yeah. Felt like a pretty slow episode, generally speaking, though. Uh, I, I, I will admit I kind of lost interest halfway through there. Yeah, it felt like, you know, it's kind of cute having little pink haired girl coming in there. Lying about them. She's like, we can take the profit in between, bro! And so on, right? And then, of course, she's... But I think a problem with her is that she's a pretty, you know, fun character. Obviously, love with Pan and so on, right? But we didn't know that. We should have given him a love letter, right? But she was, was like, when he dies, come and let's do it. Yeah, she was like, let's become, you know, let's become lovers after he dies. Right? She was basically like, you know, yeah, I want to smash. So she's really horny for Panda. We don't know that. But it's just like... The whole idea of, you know, a thief that has... Actual good intention, and she never had it easy. She had her friends, and she fell in love with him, and so on. It is really is one of the most cliche stories ever, right? I'm also saying it can't be done, right? And you know, you've seen it from I don't know, FF6 and 4, I don't know. It's a very classic, you know, uh, storyline. Finding so many games and animes, and also, of course, live action, right? It's a very, very classic storyline. So it, it doesn't have to be necessarily bad. The problem I feel is that it's not doing anything special, right? It's just like, yeah, it's a like cute pink haired girl. That hey, it is like a crook, but actually deep down she's a nice girl who's gonna help them. And you know, well, the Gato was gonna, you know, mellow up and clearly she really in love with him anyway. But you know, she's gonna be very bisco and so on, right? And I mean, I said after one, right? She's obviously the love interest for Panda, right? And the sister is obviously the love interest for Bisco. It's, it's so it's so clear. So you know, it's she's a, it's, it's, a, it's a predictable character though. So I, I guess what I feel that is slow paced, right? If, if if you're gonna go this like. Super predictable, you know, in your face storyline about a thief with a heart of gold. Just, you know, just make it go quicker than right. It's like this has been dumped to death, this kind of storyline. And I do think the anime, what I heard, right, it's based on a light novel, right? What I heard, it is adopting very few pages, right? Like very few volumes per episode. Or it's not even developed. Obviously, it's not, um, it's obviously, it's, you know, more than one episode per volume, right? It's like only the first few volumes, right? Or the first volume, or whatever, uh, for the whole season, right? Something like that, and that that, that does sound very slow paced, and I, it, I think you really feel it here. Yeah, it's, it's like it's not moving forward very quickly, and this kind of again, this kind of conversation here is just so obvious, and nothing much happened. The fact, like for the first maybe fifteen or minutes, almost, they even had a little bit of a recap, right? So I do feel I'm losing patience of the anime, but at the same time, the anime has like freaking crazy eldritch horror shit every episode. So you're like, I keep watching it because. Even though I have to say I don't think the anime is very good, definitely it's too slow paced, right? Um, every now and then it's like, well, what is this horror hepta shit? Yeah, and then it's like three minutes of like, what? And then, you know, next episode. So it feels like 
every now and then you get this like really surprising weirdness, right? And that's what puts me back into it. Because yeah, the the, the snake again, that looks really, really freaky and really disgusting or something, right? And now I'm interested in watching this episode because I'm like, man, I want to see more of the eldritch horror snake shit. Yeah, like that's that's this anime's pull power, I feel. It's very, very weird, right? It's very, very weird monster design. That for me definitely is what puts me back to watch an episode, right? Because otherwise the storyline and the characters aren't that interesting. Not, not, not terrible. I mean, I feel like this is a good example, I feel, of like, here is a storyline that I've seen hard before, I've seen it better than before, I've seen it worse too. But it feels, I think this, the pacing is probably the biggest issue, right? It feels just too slow paced. Especially if we have such a cliche character, it's like, oh, it's just so slow paced, right? So I don't know if we're gonna watch more of that, honestly. I feel a little bit, eh, you know, eh, honestly. But I do kind of keep what I'm watching because of the crazy shit, right? Because of that crazy horror stuff. Hmm, what do you guys think? I think this was probably the weakest episode so far because I felt that nothing happened until the last minute. Yeah. Like, it was sure, it was a little funny with her meeting them, but yeah, it, it, you know, it's like, yeah, you could probably summarize their meeting and their romance in like five minutes, right? You know, like 15 plus minutes for that, 18 minutes, I don't know, roughly. It's too much, right? Uh, bye, everyone, guys, subscribe, pass the like button so you get some more questions with Gender Bender, right? Gender Bender uh, Tuesday. Um, we did the last week, minus something else. Today, I feel a little tired, so I probably won't do and the other stream. Um, my person get the gear, playing on my bike, yeah. maybe on Twitch. Um, but yeah, kind of last week we did the crunch or all the stuff. Yeah, it is what it is. Holy shit, oh, it's what it is. Right? But anyway, what do you guys think? Is this anime holding up? I do think it's too slow pace, and I don't know if it's true or not, but, but I read that it's only adopting like the first volume, right, in, in the whole first uh, 12 season here. That's, that's usually very, very slow paced, right, for an anime. Uh, similar to example, uh, 86. It also did only uh, adopt one volume for first season. They had like two. Yeah, and 86 was like 11 episodes, but like two episodes of complete filler. Like complete filler. And two, and three or four episodes, like nothing happened, right? So it was like, yeah, it really felt like incredibly slow paced. But it's kind of weird, at least, too, because the last two episodes are like almost 100% filler. Yeah, like it's just kind of weird how you like. Putting him in the end there. You almost only watch episode 9 and can kind of quit watching it. It is very strange in a sense. But um, anyway, anyway, yeah, this feels very similar in the course of pacing, at least, definitely.